Hi, watersystemparts.com presents how to wire a pressure switch. This video will show a typical pressure switch. This one in particular is a Square D brand. We're using flexible watertight non-metallic conduit. You want to feed the wire about six inches beyond the end of the conduit. On the conduit, then we'll use an adapter terminal. The nut and the rubber bush bushing go on first. Then a threaded insert goes into the conduit. This twists into the conduit. The body of the conduit has like a socket on it that fits over the end of that insert. You can tw get more leverage to twist the insert into the conduit using the body of the adapter. Now you want to tighten the compression nut onto the adapter body. This adapter will secure the conduit to the pressure switch. Now insert the wires through the knockout, pull the conduit adapter through, install the wire nut, uh, the cham nut. Now conduit for the other side. Again, pull the wire through the conduit. This is a different kind of conduit adapter we're using. We have slid the nut over the conduit already, and now we're uh, sliding the adapter uh, body into the conduit. And now we'll tighten the compression nut onto the body. This secures the body to the conduit. There are several types of conduit adapters available for this kind of conduit. Now insert the wire through the other knockout hole. Install the jam nut and then tighten the jam nut. Tighten, now we're gonna tighten both jam nuts. Be sure they're tight and secure. Strip about a half inch of insulation off the ends of the wires. Now we'll strip each one. We're showing two types of wire use, solid wire and stranded wire. I like to use crimp adapters on the stranded wires. Stranded wire does not like to sit under screw terminals well. Strand wire spreads out when the screws are tightened. Then we have little wickers of wire poke out that can cause issues. Caution, be sure ground wires are all connected and tight. This is very important. This allows the ground to continue to the controller and to the pump. There are actually two switches in this switch box, one for each power link. One switch on the right, and a set of screws on the left are for the other switch. <clears throat> We're switching both legs of power. On the right switch, we are breaking the white wire coming in and out. Left switch will be breaking the other leg. The black in and the black out will be switched. Note, no crimp adapters on the left. These are solid wire, shown here for an example. We usually don't use adapters on solid wire. Solid wire generally works good under the screws. Crimps often uh, come loose. Uh, then arrange the wires so that the cover will fit over the top. Install the cover and tighten the cover nut. Just snug the nut. Do not over tighten it. There you go. You're done. This video was brought to you by www.watersystemparts.com. I hope this video, How to Wire a Pressure Switch, was informative for you. Visit www.watersystemparts.com for your 